Greetings! If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're considering buying this piece of this piece of jewelry. Um, as is often the case, I received this free for the purposes of review, but despite that, I will be completely candid about it because I shop on Amazon the same way you do, and I don't want unpleasant surprises to show up in the mail. Um, so I have not yet unboxed this, so let me pan the camera down, and we will take a look. Um, first of all, you can see it comes in a comes in a gift box, and it also comes wrapped in an inner plastic wrapper, which one to be well advised to review or to remove. Um, so, first impression. First impression of this is fairly positive. Um, what I've jewelry I've reviewed is, is just absurdly, absurdly light, but this actually has a bit of substance to it. Um, it's very hard to get the camera to focus, so forgive me. Um, it is pretty flexible. You can you can um, torture it pretty well. Um, the backs are well. Okay, the back is nothing to be impressed about. It's just just sort of chrome, a sort of lumpy chrome back there. So that's not that's not uh, not great presentation, but it, it is just costume jewelry. So um, sort of a weak. So in general, it's very flexible, but there are some spots that make me feel that it's sort of like right here in particular. You notice there's more of a bull bow to that than you would. Thing than you would normally expect. So I think that's probably a weak spot. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, it is pretty. There's a bit of. Well, maybe that explains it because you'll notice at the end there's a bit of asymmetry to the to the construction, and so that sort of weakens weakens the link between those adjacent spots. I'm just afraid that this is going to snap. Let me. I have the luxury of not needing to do anything with this. I'm pulling this fairly hard, and I see no deformation, so it, it's holding up pretty well. Um, sizing, sizing is pretty good. It, it's got room to spare on me, and I'm a guy, so most women will have more than enough room to spare. And it does have the extender chain, so you can go as far out as you need to. Um, one thing to note is that the, the, the lobster clasp is pretty tiny, so getting this on, getting this on your own arm may be tricky, but for those who have more experience than I do, it may, may be less of a challenge. So, overall, I, I don't, I don't have a lot of complaints about this. It, from the top, it looks pretty good. The, the, the back is not so much, but I, I think we just have to make sure that we consider this costume jewelry and not anything of, you know, you know, we're not trying to fool anybody here. Um, and it does bug me the asymmetry of that, that last piece a bit, because everything else is very tightly sort of eye shaped and the ones on the end sort of tend to, to, to pull out. So, but that's an aesthetic choice for you. Um, it's very hard to see in this light, but I think the uh, the stones are fairly well set. I, the, the the center stones here look like they're about ten prong connectors, so that'll stay together pretty well, I think. So overall, um, I have no real complaints about this piece. Like I said, it has a much more substantial feel than many that I've that I've reviewed. Um, so I, I think it's a pretty good choice. It's an attractive piece. It's not going to take anyone's breath away, but for the price, yeah pretty good. So at any rate, I hope that was helpful. If not, please leave me a comment. Let me know what I should be telling you about jewelry that I'm not. Uh, and until next time, happy shopping.